Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed this login part of pharmacy management system to check. If you have not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the thing. In this video, we are going to design the admin dashboard part. So let's start with that. So let me open the admin dashboard. Now let me increase the size to 1366 comma 768. And let me remove the uh, mean max close button from here. So just check this undecoded, this one, and click on save. And after that, let me decrease the size of this one too. Let me also decrease this one. And let me write here dashboard, dashboard, press enter. Then we have to right click on this one, go to the properties, and make it as old 48. And okay. Click on close and place it to the center of this page over here. And after that, we need here a divider, something like that, separator. Just place it over here and make it as complete line till this point and at end also. And then we have to put few buttons over here. So to add user profile, different purpose, we have to create the buttons. So I'm just going to place a button over here. And I'm going to rename it as add users, user. Then the next button will be for, next button will be for uh, profile, profile. And after that, few more buttons we need over here. So this button will be for view user. After that, the next button will be for logout. Logout. And and two more buttons we need over here. So it will be for update. Update user. And the last button will be for exit this application. Exit this application. Now, one by one, we are going to set the icon for this one. And we're also going to make it as, okay, uh, bold. Uh, make it as bold 18, bold 18, okay. And we are going to set the icon. So, icon for this one is going to be add user, this one. And close this. And so let's select the scroll and make it as bold 18 first. Then we are going to set the icon one by one. Go to the properties and we are going to make it as bold 18 and click on OK and close this. And after that, we have to set the profile. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to click on profile to PNG. And let me place this a little bit up over here. And let me scroll down also. And we have to click on view user. So view user. And after that, log out. So I need to click on log out. Log out dot png. And after that, update user. So I need to select here update user. Update user. And then we have to please exit. Exit this application, and you can see all the icon is visible. So we have to make it as same size. So I'm going to increase the size to 400. I'm going to extend the size to 400. Let me let me move a little bit up. You can see till 400. We have to increase the size of all the buttons of this size. And let me also increase the size of this one to 400. And uh, let me also increase this one size to 400. And we are also going to space it to go the same positions over here. That's 400. Also increase the size of this one. Also increase the size of this one too. Save this. Place it perfectly to the center of this page. You can see from here we are not at the center. So, 
place it over here and after that we have to uh, change the layout so I'm going to place the layout uh, design will be absolute layout and after that we are going to put a label over here right click on this properties and here we have to select admin dashboard background this one and we just need to perfectly on this JFrame form and double click on this page and click back space to remove this label from here and save this label text and we have to also change the colors to this one so white okay so it should be known color this one and white click on ok and close this and save this after that uh, we need to go to the source of this page over here and here we have to create a variable the variable name will be private and string user name and it should be thing for now and we are going to get this value from login page so first just copy paste this one make it format this and here we are expecting value so string temp user name and whatever the user name we are going to get it from here so user name is equals to temp user name and set to location location relative to and here we have to pass them and as uh, we right now we are calling this constructor so we have to go to the login page let me scroll a little bit down and you can double click on this button and you are able to see that over here and here you have to just pass this username username over here so you just pass it over here and let's print let's also print this one in the console for now let's remove this one later point of time save this so anyway in your admin log logged in you will route to this uh, this method we are going to call and from there we are going to get the user okay and after that we have to write few lines of the code to exit this application or log out this application double click on this log out to generate the event for this one and here we write int a is equals to g option pan dot so confirm nation dialog let me scroll it this up and here we write null and in this we need to place them it's any code my print and here we have it do you want to log out comma and here we write select and g option pan dot show message show message and okay not show yes or no option we need to point and here if a is equal equals to zero we need to pass set visible to and new login dot set visible okay true okay here we need to change false we need to write false and after that this line of the code we just going to copy paste and double click on this to generate the event for exit and paste it over here format this one and do you really want to close application we have to just change this message and here we have to just delete these two lines of the code and we have to write to stop our jvm to execute so system dot exit exit and we have to pass zero you can see okay so now we are going to log in and we are going to check that how our dashboard is looking right now so I'm going to start with the login page and here I'm going to write admin and the password I'm going to write admin and I'm going to click on login. You can see we are able to route to the dashboard page and here you can see all the buttons over here. And if I click on logout, you can see we are getting meshes. Do you really want to log out? Click on yes. You can see we are able to route it over to the login page. And if I click on login again, you can see we are able to go back to the if you want to exit. Yes, you can see we are able to exit from the application. It means that dashboard 
admin dashboard part is working as expected. I hope you guys like this video, so please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.